do you feel very sad as an existing card holder and then when you try to sign up for credit cards you don't get anything <sighs> like all the gifts only for those new to bank customer how like that so in today's video i'll go through some credit cards where you can still get some gifts for existing card holders and i know this is what some of you want but if you have even better offers that i have missed out from this video then you're welcome to join us at our 16,000 members telegram group at honey money sg to share about credit card rewards strategies and ways to make your credit card life better number one offer is by bbs u card where they are offering up to 60 dollars for existing customer so typically you just hit the minimum spend requirements same as the new to bank customer and you can still get an existing customer reward even if you have other DBS credit card. And DBS U card is really quite a good card. In fact, it made it to my top 5 credit cards for 2024, which I shared about the benefits. So if you want to apply for the DBS U card, even for existing customers, you can use my referral link right here. Second card on the list is from DBS again, DBS Takashimaya Amex card. So this card is quite special. I'm very sure a lot of people have not even heard of this card before. But right now, they are giving their existing customers $150 in cashback when you make a minimum of $250 spent in the Takashimaya departmental store. So how it works is that you can apply for this card via my link until 31st August 2024. Then you have to spend a minimum of $250 within Takashimaya which includes the Takashimaya departmental store, Takashimaya online store and participating specialty stores at Takashimaya shopping center. And you have to complete this transaction within the first month of card approval. This $150 of cashback is for eligible customers who have not cancelled any DBS Takashimaya principal credit card within the last 12 months. And to be clear, if you're whole other DBS cards like Altitude, Live Fresh, or even DBS Women's card, you are still eligible as long as you have not held the Amex Takashimaya card. Then if you're asking, what can you buy at Takashimaya if everything is marked up, you can refer to my short video here, where my wife bought the SD Lauder product and then I can just buy a Xiaomi toothbrush head. Third card on the list is from HSBC and it can be either Live Plus or Advanced Credit Card because from SingSaver, existing customers can actually get $50 cashback if you hit a minimum spend of $500. So I think a lot of you are familiar with the HSBC Advanced Visa Cashback Credit Card but maybe not about the Live Plus because this is a fairly new card. In fact, this new HSBC Live Plus card made it to my top 5 cashback credit cards plus made it to my top 5 credit cards for the year. So it's really a very powerful card which I really recommend a lot of you to apply for. And if you really want to know about the benefits, I've shared it right here. So for this HSBC Live Plus credit card, you get like 5% cashback on certain categories like dining, shopping, petrol and entertainment. But the good news is from now to 31st December 2024, you have upsize 8% cashback on dining, shopping and entertainment. So that is like additional 3% on top of that 5%, which is like pretty sweet cashback, right? 8% usually is on those higher end credit cards. But now you can get it on $600 minimum spend with the HSBC Live Plus card. Now, is there a catch then? Then there definitely is because you have to meet the quarterly spend requirements, which is you need to spend a minimum of $600 consecutively for the calendar quarters. So that means July, August, September, then October, November, December, you have to spend a minimum of $600 to qualify. So if you miss one month of $600, you will not get the full cashback. Cashback cap wise, it is $250 per quarter, which is rather generous. So if you just take $250 divided by 8%, you will get a spend limit of $3,125. That is by per quarter. So each month, you have slightly above $1,000 of spend to hit the cap. And the cashback will be credited two months after the quarter ends. So if your quarter ends on September, by November, you will be able to receive the cashback. And right now, SingSaver is running a promotion for new to HSBC Live Plus and even for existing HSBC card holders. So you can check out their promotion right here on my referral link. But I get it, all these offers are like cashback and it's like so little cashback for so little rewards. Still need to hit minimum spend. Is there any other credit cards that can award reward points or miles on? I got you. But first, this video has no sponsor, but you can support me by clicking on this interactive broker's link, especially when they are one of the most competitive brokerages to offer Ireland domestic ETFs on London Stock Exchange. And also, interactive brokers offer the best exchange rates for foreign currency. So get your IBKR account by clicking on this link right here. Fourth existing customer's credit card offer, you can look at City Prestige. So the current offer is valid till 30th September 2024 and that's even for existing city card holders who have not held the city prestige card yet. You will earn 62,500 thank you points as a welcome gift upon paying the 545 Singapore dollars annual fee and 62,500 thank you points for $2,000 of qualifying spend 
within two months of card approval. And that is a total of 125,000 thank you points, which is equivalent to 50,000 miles. That's quite a lot of miles, right? You just have to spend $2,000. And it can be any kind of retail spend or even city pay all transactions that comes with the fee. Eligibility-wise, it is valid for those customers that have not helped or cancelled any city prestige card within the past 12 months. And to be clear, you are eligible even if you hold other city credit cards like city SMRT or city rewards. But that's only for city prestige. Huh? You don't apply it on other city cards. So it's always better that you go and apply for other city credit cards first. Then after you have qualified for those new to bank rewards, then you come back and apply for city prestige. Note that city prestige also has an annual income requirement that is 120,000 per annum. Then the main benefit of city prestige is that it gives you complimentary fourth night free when you book through city concierge on those higher end hotels like Marriott, Hilton, plus the booking need to be a minimum four night stay. So that means the first three nights you pay, the fourth night you don't need to pay. They will give you complimentary. City Prestige also gives you unlimited airport lounge access with priority pass. And that includes a guest pass as well. So you can always do a one plus one, which means you as the member, you bring one guest with you per visit. So it's very good for those people who travel around in international airports and you need a good rest or good food or good shower options. Headline earning rate for City Prestige is 2 miles per dollar for overseas transactions and 1.3 miles per dollar for local SGD transactions. If you're able to hit $12,000 of minimum spend per quarter, you can also get two complimentary limousine rides to and fro the airport so that's some cost savings for you. And the main benefit of City Prestige points is that they do not expire. Unlike other credit card points that may expire within a certain time, period so city prestige points do not expire so if you're really interested in city prestige you can sign up via my referral link here last offer for today is dbs vantage card which is a hybrid credit card for mouse or cashback but really people usually use it for mouse so if you look at the offer for existing customers you can get up to 40,000 miles and it's valid until 30th september 2024 so what you have to do is to apply for the DBS Vantage card with my exclusive link and then you pay for the non waivable annual fee of $599.50 and you have to make a minimum spend of $4,000 within 30 days of card approval. So that's the highest spending requirement than City Prestige. Huh? Make sure you are able to hit $4,000 of spend within 30 days. So that is really suitable for those big ticket items like you want to buy furniture, you want to buy electronical appliances, you want to pay for your wedding banquet. And note that for welcome rewards, all those transactions through Cardup or IPMI is not eligible as the minimum spend requirement to get that 40,000 miles. So don't use it for Cardup and IPMI. But for the normal earn rate, 1.5 miles per dollar after the welcome rewards, yes, it is eligible. And in fact, I'm using it as well on my Cardup and IPMI credit card. So with DBS Vantage, the main thing is that you get that Accor Plus membership, which grants you one complimentary night stay at Accor properties worldwide, including Singapore, where you can stay at Sofitel Sentosa. And then you can also get 10 free Priority Pass lounge visits with the Priority Pass membership. And that means you as one member, you can bring in nine guests at one go, which is one of the more versatile priority pass memberships around. For the base earning rate for local SGD spend, you earn 1.5% cashback or 1.5 miles per dollar. Of course, I would rate 1.5 miles per dollar more valuable than 1.5% cashback. And it's suitable for card up and I pay my eligibility as well. Then for overseas transactions, you can earn 2.2 miles per dollar or 2.2% cashback. So depending on what you want. But I probably won't use it overseas because of the foreign currency fees. So yes, I know that DBS Vantage has quite a high spend requirement of $4,000, especially within 30 days. It's quite hard to hit unless you have a big ticket spend going on or you're paying for company expenses. So make sure only when you are very confident to hit $4,000 of spend within 30 days, then you come and apply for DBS Vantage. And out of these five credit cards discussed today, I'm holding all of them except for City Prestige because I do not see it suitable for my current lifestyle. But it may be suitable to you, just not suitable for me. As with all credit card strategies, always look at your personal lifestyle first so that the credit card can fit your lifestyle instead of upgrading your lifestyle to hit the credit card spend requirements just like that $4,000 spend within 30 days for DBS Vantage. Don't overspend and don't upgrade your lifestyle unnecessarily. And if you want my own personal opinion of what are the top 5 credit cards for 2024, then I can refer you to my curated list right here.